One of our longer away trips this season to Stortford. How are we feeling? Yeah, good, mate. Really good. Um, coming off the back of a, a really good win uh, against Taunton last week. The boys did really well. Um, but yeah, I, I think Bishops is a long trip away. And historically, we struggled going up there. I don't think we've won up there, actually, um, since they come into the league. So, yeah, it's a big challenge for us. Uh, seven points from from the first two games that obviously followed on from some really good positive preseason momentum too. So it's it, it's been a really solid last few weeks for us. Yeah, definitely. I thought we um we played really well up in Roslyn. Um, just let a few silly tries in and that, got, that cost us the game. But get two points up there. I think uh, not a lot of teams will go up there and do that this year. So it was a decent start. And then obviously having the derby at home last week in, in good sunshine with a, a good crowd and. And to get a good win like that was, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it set some good, uh, good stead for the rest of the rest of the season. Is it quite nice this weekend as well? Obviously, going going overnight as opposed to to, to waking up at stupid o'clock in the morning and, and then having to travel super early. It's it's nice to sort of have that <laughs> yeah. little bit of rest beforehand. That's that's one of the one of the issues living down here, isn't it? Everything's a, everywhere's a long way, but yeah, this this year we we've planned um, to go to go the, day, the night before, um, which. Don't give lads any excuses about early morning starts or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, we're giving ourselves the best chance, best chance to go down there um, and get a, get a win or uh, get a result. So, yeah, it's, it's, it, it does. I think it makes it makes it a lot easier for the lads anyway. Um, obviously, a, a couple of ch- not no major changes to the sides um, this weekend, but TCD uh, comes in at, at hooker. Wilco uh, drop into to, to the bench, and those those three along with Gabe have, have, have been super at, at hooker so far. Yeah, definitely. I think um, I mean, uh, we've got a really good mix, uh, a, a blend of experience and uh, and ability as well. I think they all offer something a little bit different. Um, Harris done really well for us over the last couple of seasons, been one of our standout performance. And then to bring Dickie in uh, and Gabe over the summer, obviously Dickie comes with um, a lot of pedigree behind him and uh, a lot of experience. And he's, he's been fantastic since coming in as well, sharing that information and and trying to be uh, the best influence he can, and, and then Gabe obviously he's uh, he's doing really really well. Um, he's mixed up a little bit of hooker and back row um, for that preseason. Got a little knock um, a couple of weeks ago, so um, but he'd be, he'd be okay. But yeah, it's it's great to have those options, and um, um, if in the age the age the age that they are as well, they've all got plenty of rugby left in them. Uh, Gus moves into the second row. Uh, a few years of having experience under his belt as well, and he's he's really. He's really stepped up in the last in the last few weeks, and he's he's been fantastic. Yeah, I think Gus has stepped up since he's come in. To be quite honest, he uh, I think he, he come from Bude and um, maybe it all around the edges, and but he's he's a fantastic athlete, and he, he's really eager to learn. And I think you can see the development that's happened to him over the last over the last season. Um, and he's been fresh in to do a, a to call a line out, which he's which he's never done. And his first game was against Pirates, the Championship side, and I thought he did really really well. And so yeah, Gus has been Gus has been brilliant. Um, he's he's the type of guy you want around the squad. He just he kind of puts his hand up for anything and try anything, and uh, he's always really committed. So Gus has been fantastic since coming. Yeah, uh, Billy misses out this weekend. Obviously scored a try on his on his debut last uh, Saturday against against Taunton. It's it's a shame to to see him have to miss out, but he, he's mm-hmm. been such quality since he's come in. Yeah, Billy's done really well again. Um, first time we saw him pretty much was uh, was against really quality opposition. He done really well. Um, young kid, I think mean, he's only twenty years old, just turned twenty years old. Um, yeah, and he, he came in. I thought he, he played really well last week, and it's a shame he's got a knock because um, I'm sure he'd like to continue that momentum. But um, I mean, he'll be back. I'm sure Billy's a young kid, and he uh, he's done really well. And he's put his hand up, so yeah, he's got a lot of credit in the bank. It's quite nice to see that the versatility of of Setter as well, moving from his I guess usual centre position out to the out to the wing. It, it's just nice to have that sort of depth, but also versatility in the squad. Yeah, I, I think. He he plays uh, rugby the a, a very traditional Fiji way. Don't really matter what number you got on your back. He uh, he likes to fly around a lot of energy. Um, and he's he's definitely the type of type of player the boys like to go into a game with. So um, yeah, to have him come back in after a bit of a, a bit of a sore sore body last week, give him a rest. Um, for him to come back in and give us some um, some really good energy. Um, and and that's the the best thing about this season compared to previous is is we've got. We've got people to come in and step up and want to put their hands up um, if we do get injuries. And I think you can see that with the squad. We, we've got a lot of injuries in the squad at the moment. But um, got a lot of boys who are willing to play out of position, put their hand up. And, and that's credit to the lads and, and the and the, and the culture and the environment and the atmosphere around the group at the moment. So, yeah, it's all positive. All right, Ryan. Best of luck this weekend. Thanks very much. Awesome. Cheers, Rob. Thanks.